Well, this is a super short lesson on chapter 4-3, triangle congruence, angle side angle, and angle angle side. So we have the angle side angle postulate and the angle angle side theorem. And I'm going to show you that they're pretty much the same thing, but here we go. Angle side angle, if you have an angle, an included side, and an angle, following that order, angle side angle, and here's another triangle, angle, side, angle, look, one mark, one mark, one mark, one mark for the side, two marks for that angle, two marks for that angle, angle, side, angle, then these two triangles are congruent, and then you write it in the correct order, A, B, C is congruent to A has one mark, D has one mark, B has no marks, second one, E has no marks, and F is the only remaining angle, and C is the only remaining Point. Now you can switch the orders up. I mean, if you want to say triangle, I don't know, CAB is congruent to triangle. Boy, if I could just write neatly. Whew, let's do that all over again. Hang on a second. So triangle CAB is congruent to triangle C. Two marks. F has two marks. A, one mark. D has one mark. And what's left? I guess it's E. Okay, so, you know, the, the order matters as far as making sure the letters correspond as far as whether or not you put them in alphabetical order or not for the first triangle. doesn't really matter. Just once you commit yourself to writing the letters for the first triangle, the second triangle, every letter has to correspond. Look, F goes with C. F goes with C. A matches, corresponds to D. A corresponds to D, B corresponds to E. It's beautiful. Okay, we need a visual of this. Um, okay, if I take angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, these triangles are set up so that those congruences are there. No matter how I drag this around, you will see that those two triangles, they are congruent by the side angle side, excuse me, angle side angle theorem, postulate, angle side angle postulate. Okay, so we're done with that. Now, the angle angle side theorem, okay, I corrected that, angle angle side theorem, you have to follow the order. Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Okay, so these triangles are now congruent because of this theorem. Now let's think about this for an extra moment. If these two angles are congruent to those two angles, then the third angle must be congruent by the third angle theorem. Well, now we're falling back into what we just discussed. This is angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. That's why this is a theorem and not a postulate like the previous rule. This is something that we can prove. Okay. Now we're back to the idea again. Angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side, and no matter how I drag around this point B, those two triangles are clearly congruent based upon the angle, angle, side postulate correction theorem. Okay, right, let's just quickly review the previous sections and this section by figuring out what um, rule of congruence allows us to say that triangles are congruent. We have side, angle, side, si oh this is cursing. This doesn't work. Let's try this one. You have a shared side. Two, two, three, three, shared one. This is, these two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. We have vertical angles here. Angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. Yep. Those are congruent by angle, angle, side. Shared side here, this is side, side, side. 
Let's see what we got here. We have a shared side, angle, angle, side, angle, angle. Yeah, this is this works by angle, angle, side. And likewise, I said before that you know you could say that if these two angles are congruent to those two angles, then the third angles have to be congruent to each other for the third angle theorem. So that means we could also say angle, side, angle. Over here we've got some vertical angles. So you have angle, angle, side. Yeah, so this turns into this again. Angle, angle, side. And like and, and as I said before, if these two angles are congruent to those two angles, then the third angles are congruent. So from there, you could say it's angle, side, angle. And I think we're done with this very short lesson. Yes, we are. So thank you for watching.